Hi viewers, welcome back to the Sonar Cube tutorial part two. In this session, uh, I am going to show how to integrate Sonar Cube with Maven tool. So basically, Sonar Cube is a static analyzer, and Maven is for uh, Java build tool. And first of all, I am going to show whether uh, I have installed maven in slash opt directory here if we go to the conf directory we can uh, see settings.xml so basically maven will have a global and user specific settings.xml file so basically this is a global configuration file which is available under the maven home directory so basically here just to open this settings.xml file to configure the there will be a multiple sections like profiles plugin groups servers mirrors etc etc but where we have to concentrate is like one is plugin groups and another thing is like profile creating the profile for sonar so first of all uh, plugin group so there won't be any plugin group by default in maven so we need to configure which plugins which plugin groups or which plugin we need to use so I am just copying the plugin So plugin groups has been configured for the sonar and then we have to create one profile to execute the sonar cube analysis the profiles will have a use concept in maven uh, that can be you know uh, you can get somewhere else how we can uh, create the profiles how we can use it in the uh, project or else so in the profile section I am going just to uh, giving the snippet like So basically profile the profile id is sonar so whenever we want to call a profile for a uh, manual execution you just you can use the id uh, to call and the activation activation which is showing activate by default equal to true that means uh, it will be enabled by default it will be available for all the projects so we can directly go with the execution uh, without calling the sonar and then the properties properties like you know we need to pass some sonar cube uh, host url host url is nothing but where our sonar cube is running so this is the sonar cube url which is running at lab.sm for you dot com on 9000 so this is the url where we are running so i am just going to copy this url to here and then if you want to give if you would like to give uh, credentials you can give but i think it's not needed as of now and uh, if you doesn't give any url in the properties section automatically it will treat it as a local host but here i am not going to use as a local host because which i have already configured as a host name and all those things stuff so now i am just copying this profile snippet and I'm just using it here so uh, don't get confused which is inside of profiles there is a single profile so another profiles was there but uh, all these are in comment sections now I'm just saving this configuration in the global settings.xml file and now we'll make one uh, you know project analysis so dot maven plugin which is downloaded from the github and you can use it for the testing so i'm just entering into that and there is a form dot xml which is a basic entity for each and every maven project so i'm just giving maven iphone iphone version to check whether which version of maven that i'm using so apache maven 3.2.5 and java 1.8 so now I am going to execute the analysis. To execute the analysis, just we can use Maven Clean Sonar, then Sonar. 
so why this uh, how maven will recognize this sonar colon sonar because we did the integration integration like you know we have configured the plugin group and as well as we, we created one profile over there so by using that settings it will able to recognize that what sonar sonar is and what it will do so first of all it will clean the directory workspace and then it will begin the sonar code i mean analysis so i just given maven clean sonar sonar so it's scanning for the projects and it's downloading some uh, you know basically all this stuff is required the internet because maven will download several plugins and dependency jars from the internet so if you are working in uh, in somewhere in the organization basically we would have the proxy servers and all those stuff that can be configured in the maven itself uh, where we can you know there will be a uh, section called proxies there you can configure the proxy servers and uh, port number along with the username and password if required now it just downloading the sonar uh, you know whatever the plugins by default was there in the sonar cube that is downloading into a maven repository basically maven what will do it will fetch all the dependencies and required plugins into the local workspace and it will save all this stuff into a uh, repository called maven so which may be either local or remote or central repository here i am just using the local repository which i haven't configured any uh, you know central or remote so sonar cube analysis has been done uh, you know completely analysis successfully you can browse the repo res result set dashboard so basically i'm just going to refresh my uh, sonar cube uh, url so we, we have we are going to get dot maven plugin which is a project name and then lines of coverage loc 1072 and uh, it's uh, you know it's covered one bug and zero vulnerabilities and code smells 71 and last analysis is uh, 1670 so which is in a different time zone so this is the you know uh, still it's loading the results so if you click on the project name you will come to know uh, in the very clear picture like okay there are uh, some 4.1 percent duplication in the complete code so now we have done the integration and we have done the project testing and so here it just uh, you know I covered only one bug so is really is there any only one bug so in that question may arise so for that we need to use the quality profiles basically quality profiles will have a different rules of what is the bug what is an issue what is an code smell how we can detect the uh, duplications how we can so you know uh, many stuff we can uh, find out in the rules itself so basically there are uh, three quality profiles which is available for you know java one profile is there which is called as sonar way so this is the default quality profile which gonna enable for the projects so whenever in this uh, default profile i mean in the quality profile we have 277 rules only so with the two help of 277 rules which is going to you know uh, execute against the java source code and will give the uh, analysis report but maybe these rules won't be enough for a uh, really code analysis i mean in the real time scenario we need to write some manual rules that can be done by java developers or sonar cube developers and some other rules we can make it from the plugins so basically if you go to the administration section we will find the system option so you can say system info and update center so basically we have to install some third i mean you know open source plugins you can use and some commercial plugins was there so basically all these plugins are installed by default and updates only then available so if you come to available section there is a huge list for the plugins so what plugin you want to use for the java source code analysis i am going to use like a pmd check style so pmd is one plugin 
which is going to get some another rules is plugin will have plugin is nothing but a jar file so we can install it in a uh, manual way or from the through update center so this is a, like a direct installation if you if your sonar cube is configured with the proxy servers and all those stuff you are able to connect to internet through your organization network so basically we won't have that facility in the organization so that we have to go with the manual way only so manual way is nothing but just to download the jar file from the internet just to google it and uh, you will get it the pmd jar file just download it to your local machine and just copy it to uh, you know there will be a if you go to sonar home you know you will find the different different directories so in the extension directory you will find the plugins directory so plugins so what are the default plugins was there sonar c sharp plugin and java and javascript then git svn so you can integrate sonar cube with svn and you can integrate a sonar cube with the git so whatever the integration that you want to do you can do it so just download the jar file and you can make it available over here and restart the sonar cube to take effect changes into the ui so we do not have uh, you know pmd jar just download it and copy it to this directory and restart the sonar cube server so it will give the and once you restart the changes will be reflected over there in the ui so now just i am simply uh, you know i don't want to talk, take too long so that i am just installing the uh, plugin from here itself so just take install and then it will ask for the restart once it done so whenever you are uh, installing a plugin just check either whether it's license under gnu or it's under commercial so if it is licensed under gnu then it's like a open free and open source you can install and use it without any uh, conditions so i'm just restarting my sonar cube so this instance will take like uh, one to two minutes uh, because it will have a huge concept huge database in the mysql meantime uh, we can uh, you know discuss other few things so basically this analysis will be stored so analysis reports and everything will be stored in the uh, mysql database basically we integrated i mean while installing the sonar cube uh, we used mysql database with the sonar cube as it is a free and open source basically you can ins uh, you can use uh, other databases as well like mysql server or orkil another databases maria db mango db whatever you want the thing is that if you are working with the costing area then it would be better to go with the mysql database so now the ad admin admin So now I'm just going to quality for files. So here is the here it would have only still three. So what I'm going to do is like I'm just going to create one profile called uh, you know PMD and the code would be I'm going to cover Java. Just create it. Activate uh, you know rules so from the total we have 682 rules and we have 153 for bug covering and vulnerability rules 33 and code smells so all these are inactive in this created profile so i just created the pmd quality profile and there are zero active rules so what are the rules that you are going to do that's your wish by saying i'm just going with activate more activate in pmd so i'm just going to apply all rules in the 
so basically we are applying 680 rules in the PMD profile that means so if we make this profile default like if we I mean so basically we use a sonar way to uh, run the analysis in earlier stage now we can we will use the PMD profile so there are three four now there will be a four profiles so for Java we have PMD profile we have created with 675 rules and the 181 is deprecated rules that means that is no longer supported in the Java now we have to make this profile is uh, available for in a default so set as default so if you see the dashboard what are the bugs uh, we covered in the earlier analysis like only one bug and there are zero vulnerabilities if you run the analysis again like slash apt then here are my project dot maven plugin so what i used maven clean sonar and then sonar this time running the sonar cube analysis again so basically what is the basic funda if you have more rules then we can uh, analyze the code in more better way so that's what the concept is like installing the plugins so you will have the check style you will have the clover plugin so basically here we use it to you know you by defaultly sonar cube will come with uh, will come with uh, you know jacoco plugin so if you want to go in the better way you can uh, you know you can purchase the clover plugin which is belongs to atlassian and uh, you can make it install and then enable it just a simple trick okay now if you observe there are 15 bugs and 5 vulnerabilities and 1100 code smells which we have got in the earlier report we got 72 code smells and 0 vulnerabilities and 1 bug so why now why we got more because we enabled more rules by creating a uh, you know custom profile by applying all the rules which are available for the PMD which are uh, you know which came from the PMD plugin and which came from the sonar way so if you go to some another plugins like you know uh, check style and another uh, you know will have many plugins over there so you can just go through it uh, go through it check style plugin so provide check file check style rules for java projects so if you install these plugins you may get more rules and those uh, if you apply those rules against your uh, project code analysis then you will get more uh, in detailed report to analyze the project so basically developer will look into the reports and then will they will decide what is bug actually and basically all these things are not able to consider by the developer because the developers know what is exactly bug and what is vulnerability if the even there is if we got 15 bugs it need not to be uh, resolve everything because you know uh, the code standards are very you know in a strict form and the developers won't need not to follow all these code standards because following the java code standards as this is a very complex uh, you know like that so we, here in this tutorial uh, in this session we have covered like how we can define the plugin group and how we can create the profile in the maven so basically which uh, these two stuffs are uh, relating to integration of with the you know maven and uh, thanks for watching this session and in the next tutorial i am going to cover more topics and administration side and as well as how we can integrate the sonar cube with the jenkins to enable the ci infrastructure in the well uh, you know well organized manner thanks for watching the session thank you have a nice day